we need to we, we if things a need to actually change and I, and i think that the likes of like um we talk about football but let's flip it to um boxing would anthony joshua turn around and say i'll never box in england again until i see drastic measures done for oh. fellow sportsmen no. would he say that if no. he said that no. the lord mayor no. of london would turn around and go yo what he will he will get dettol out and he will no. clean out the system himself no it's not happening why ain't it happening it's not happening it's not, it's not happening in boxing it's not happening in football because the, these sportsmen of today <clears throat> they're thinking about their personal gain their personal needs before anything else and it's like the attitude is like well, it's not really directed at me, so it's not really affecting me. So I'm mm. doing my own thing. I'm in my own lane. But that's why I always go back to when you look at the man, the man, the, the legend, Muhammad Ali. Mm. Because as mm. I said, Muhammad Ali stood a totally different thing in the sense of a rep from racism. But it, it was the fact of what he stood for. He believed in something and he stood for it. Yeah. And he didn't think about his personal wealth or what he was going to lose or what he didn't remember, you know. He just become the heavyweight champion of the world, Olympic champion. The world was his oyster. He's ready to go and earn money, good money as a as the world champion. And you know, then Vietnam came, and he says, "No, I ain't going to fight the Kong. They ain't done nothing to me, so what's my trouble in there?" Yeah, for real. And they stripped him. And remember, you know, it's not like over in our uh, we're trying to take on the FA or what. Muhammad Ali took on the USA, the whole of America turned against him. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. The know. whole of America yeah, turned against him. Let's know. be real. For it's real, not just real. like like a little snippet. Yeah. It was the whole of America. Mm. You know, the, everybody is he's, he's a disgrace. Send him, send him home. <laughs> you know, mm. strip him of his mm. title mm. is a disgrace. How can he not represent America? How can he not fight in the war? And, you know, people are saying, my son's gone and why are you privileged over my son? And, Nobody was privileged. Your son didn't make a stance. Ali did. And my point is, like we were saying, these footballers are multi-millionaire footballers. The multi-millionaires. Ten years ago, they were multi-millionaire footballers, and nobody's nobody's prepared to say, you know what? Allow that. Mm. This is what I'm standing for. Again, mm, go yeah. to a more modern day. Mm, go mm. to America. Colin Kaepernick. Same thing. He was the first geezer who took the knee. He done the knee in the national anthem, and look what happened. The uproar it caused. Mm. Hasn't played a game of American football since. But check this out though, Kaepernick has not been accepted back into American football. No. But my girl, who who had a fist fight on Twitter with um Trump, um the footballing girl Rapido. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And she's a good footballer, man. She's a good yeah, footballer. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And she had a go at him. Yeah. And mm. she did that oh, that speech when she went back to America. We've got white girls got black girls we got black you know what i mean we got girls that love girls got girls that love guys you know what i mean she did a speech i'm sure she's still playing ball yeah she's high ball. yeah yeah so what's the difference bro remember you know, you know it, trump, it, it trump put it out there though. trump put it out there if anybody gives cape and neck a gig <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm coming to <laughs> do, do your dance yeah. And even though Trump he's gone, gone now, though. yeah, he's <laughs> gone. This is what I'm saying. He's gone. But he's still got power, man. But nobody's, yeah, yeah. Look, but nobody's prepared to give the man a break. The man still <clears> trains <throat> every day. <clears throat> you know, the man's been to. He's like he's equivalent. He's been to a Champions League final. He's been to the Super Bowl. <clears throat> he's took a team to the Super Bowl. Lost in the Super Bowl. He's a he's a he's a talented baller. And this is what I'm saying. And that's the difference of American blacks and blacks over here. Hmm. <clears throat> And that's just the real talk. That's the actions yeah. of it. Let's be real. It is. We can yeah. say, okay, we can yeah. use real Fred. Now we can use highly for fully black footballers if we want, because yeah, none of yeah. them stepped up to the plate. Nobody, nobody yeah. stepped up to the yeah. plate. And that's the problem. Everybody's too scared. But the Ali showed you, you didn't have to be scared. And look, you look, and look what scared. happened to his career. Turned it around. Everybody saw where he was coming mm. from. And mm. look, the greatest. One ball in the jungle, man. You know what I'm saying? Why, why can't yeah, Auntie Joshua yeah. say, you know what? I'm going to go back home in Nigeria. Nah. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 Roger, hmm? What's that? They've, 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 they've kind of think. Oh, put it out there. Statements, yeah, have to, <laughs> them kind of statements, yeah, have yeah. to be made by a people of a certain, I don't know the word, <laughs> ped, pe, pedigree, but a, <laughs> yeah, a certain type of black person will be bold enough to make that statement. Like, for, okay, we just use boxing, for example. Mm. No way. 
Joshua year, right? <laughs> the only difference between Joshua and the, the someone like a Wayne Rooney in football is that Joshua is black, but he is their their, their favorite right now, the English favorite. Yeah, and he, yeah, he yeah. They love Frank Bruno. Took the title yeah. after but Frank. I, I can see somebody here, yeah, right? Mm. Whether it's like you know, probably more likely at the end of his career making it, that kind of statement. Yeah, mm. I would say someone like Dylan White would do that. Because Dylan is yeah, a very yeah, different. Yeah. He's a very different kind of. Is that the Jamaican one? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He's he, yeah. He, he's well. I don't think anti. Yeah, he's like, yeah. 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 not lost three years. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a Dylan White fan, but I hear where you're coming from. Still, you know what I, I mean. Like, I but face what, rock. Again, my problem was what this is. This is what we're talking about, though. Everybody mm. wants to wait till the end of the career. Why are you waiting? Mm. Yeah, do it now. Why are you waiting? As I said, when Ali like, took the, when the strip is took, it's his best year earning years. Yeah, man. There is there is his prime. That stole him at his prime. <laughs> you know, but he stood his ground and he stood for what he believed. In, and this is what I'm saying. But the mate, the joke is, it wasn't like Ali was balling. Guys, mm. I'm telling you straight. Footballers are balling. I I, I went to um Harewood's um Instagram. Yeah, um, he's got his little foot, he's like car business. Yeah, 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 yeah. he just does up cars. Yeah, so he's doing his thing, doing his little business. You know, absolute to brother. He's got his links to the footballers and whatever. And you know why he can't say nothing because ultimately he will lose all the all these all these um, friends won't come to him and whatever. But he had this young footballer from Man City. Yeah, done up his mom's car, nice. You know, I'm sh- I, but I should have used about seventeen. I'm going. What is it? Cars kitted out. You know, you know, Hale was doing his proper kitted things, yeah? Mm. And I think the football is called Sawait um, Sedeco. I don't know if Mel, it's, um, it's, um, it's on Melo Watch, yeah? And, and he plays for Man City and he's doing all right still, you know? And um, I'll mm. find out the name and I'll let you guys know. But like, um, I was checking in a second. But one thing I, I thought was weird, going, hold on a second. These guys have got m- good money at 17, 18, let alone 25. And it, yeah, is yeah. it the case that the literacy, the f- we got poor financial literacy, which I doubt. Or is it a case of it goes back to the black pound? Where do we spend our black pound when we made it? Is it's our black both, is, 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 is our black educa- pound? It's education on both sides of those things. I think. Go on. Wh- why are you no, saying that? They're just not managed well. They're not managed well. There's still a generation where they throw money at them, but they're actually sitting back and watching. It's the same way right away through the American music. Um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Industry, where you've got all these youngsters and they throw money at them and they go and get eye style, they go and get a car, they go and get this and that, and then they end up dead in the hood because they've got no, they've, they've got no understanding of what they're going to do with this amount of money. They're just giving this amount of money and then these people sit back, watch the ratings go up and watch their child get killed, but then you're still going to make your money because you've got all their rights to their things. You get me? So the, the clubs aren't losing out, the managements aren't losing out, but the kids are losing out, but they don't know what they're doing with their money. At 17, you're spending all that money on the car at 17. And she's looking at the car right now. <laughs> and she's like, this. oh my God, get up wine like that. <laughs> Sam, Sammy Dozy. Sam, Sammy Dozy. You, you heard of him, hey, Melo? Sammy Dozy, Man City. Um, Sammy Dozy. Sammy no. Dozy. Um, mm-hmm. He's a footballer. He's coming through. Um, he's got a few, a few skills, man. Um, he's, he's got, he's, he's got, he's got a few things going on. But he looks like uh, he's the next Faldinho. You know what I'm saying? Coming okay. through. You know what I'm saying? You know, and he's, and he's kitted out his mom's um, Audi. But I suppose that wasn't from her uh, day job. You know, it could be. You know, but um, um, at the age, a young age, he's, he's got. You know what I mean? He's got he's got fair play, fair amount of money. So these guys should have enough to say. You know what? Mm-hmm. If I have to just. Yeah. Say what I have to say, and you know the joke is, guys. You know who's showing us they can Rashford, because Rashford yeah. has stuck out his neck. You know, you know what I'm saying, for, um, and he's gone against the government system. Yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah, I'm yeah. not saying he should do the race thing. I salute you for doing what you're doing. Something that you've suffered yourself, and you and yeah. and, 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 and you're doing <coughs> it, and you're looking after the youths them that are coming through. Yeah. They, because he knew that he was sitting, he was in a, a state with black and white. So he's yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. he's not he, he's not even for you know. He said you're all kids should yam full stuff yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. and his focus that he's put his own money in and on top of that is he's, he's pushed for government and big investors to put money in as yeah. well you know and to uh, Im- immobilize people why can't that's one person you know what's martial doing true what's Jaden sancho doing what's uh you know these young boys sterling doing I know he's got a good yard in when, when, when we look at racism though, when we look at the whole race racism thing though, mm. 
you, you might argue that, okay, what Rashford is doing is good, yeah, right? But he also knows that it's a safe topic. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that every, there's so many millions of people going through the situation that he's fighting for, mm. that he's going to get that coverage. Do you know what I'm saying? It's mm. another thing for you to, you know, he, he knows exactly what's going down in football and racism, yeah, right? And he knows mm. that if he tried to come the same way, mm. he might not necessarily get the same support you know what I'm saying the government don't even want to touch it so why is it, so why is he thinking so, so for me I'm looking I'm thinking to myself um, this guy it would mm. be nice for him to come out and do something on the mm-hmm. racism on, mm. on, the, on that side of things but mm. I don't know I, I think he he played it very safe he chose something where he knew he could win okay if, if you ask me yeah yeah okay cool that's interesting that's interesting perspective I, 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 I don't know if um you, you, you know I mean uh, Mark is a bit more mellow on the Rashford thing but you know I do salute the guy for doing it whatever that's so but you as, as you see the finances that we have in, in the footballers you know you talk about black football teams how many black football teams should we have that we don't have to worry about subs <laughs> 